Hey guys, um, it's George here and I'm going to do a video on how to tame your bearded dragon and how, like, just so it comes out a nice dragon when it's older still and doesn't, and like a, a beige orders and stuff like that, but, um, for like, newbies that get dragons, I see so many comments on video saying, I can't go near me my dragon, it doesn't want to go near me, it hides away, puffs up, or... I know it tries to bite them. Um, it's probably because when you got him, he, you got them out too early. You, um, <coughs> you wanted to, just, I don't know, get him out, play with him. You touched him too much. As soon as you get your dragon, you need to um, leave him in his home for a few days. Maybe like sometimes it goes up to weeks. Dragons, some dragons like vary, but um. I did the mistake of when I first got my first dragon. Um, I got him out for the day, and also my dad had his 50th party the same day, so everyone was coming up, holding him, touching him, and it just freaked him out a little bit. And then he was quiet for the next day. I got worried, but then the next day was fine. He just had to settle in, and I rushed it a little bit too quick, so I was excited. But yeah, I'm. Um, so if your dragon is really like oh my god get away from me like really backing up and just scared of you um try these simple steps um first you want to you don't never pick him up first of all you just want to get your hand closer and closer make sure he doesn't move away and when you're close enough like to keep it there for a few minutes when you're close enough see if you can just touch him on the back and you just keep doing this over and over, even if it means for days, because otherwise you'll never get a relationship with your dragon. But um, next, just start giving them more of a nicer stroke, putting your hand over, seeing you feel if you if you let him touch his beard, stuff like that. But still, don't um, don't pick him up. But um. Even if you have some worms, if your dragon doesn't want to come near you still, try and bribe him with some worms. When you get when you get some worms, I would recommend getting the ones without the shells on the white ones. They're mill ones, by the way. And even if that doesn't work, bribe him with some. See, cause Reggie loves mill worms. I know a lot of dragons do, but. I'm yeah, see if you come onto your hand, stuff like that. And finally, if you feel like you've secured your bond with your dragon and you're happy enough to pick him up, you don't. I see a lot of people just picking him up like that and holding him like this, and they're struggling. Like he's looking for more. Look, he's looking for more. <laughs> he thinks I've got more worms. Let me get him another one. Um, what I do if he's stood like that, here is like the belly, and you just have to lift him up, and it'll come up really easy. And it'll just sit in your hand, which is easier. It's hard for me to show you because half of his body's under there, and I've got the camera. But yeah, if you if you ever like really your dragon just really doesn't like you, just keep trying the steps. It might it might take others longer than others, but um. Yeah, I hope this helped. So don't rush into getting your dragon out and playing with it and all the rest. Just take it slow because I know a lot of dragons don't like it as soon as they get a new home. So um, like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.